Good morning, Facebook family and friends. This is Pastor Willie Chester, wishing everyone a good and godly Friday morning. And we're here this morning with just a little encouragement. Um, this morning, we'll continue our thought that we had on storms. And we take our cue from Sister Debbie McDaniel, who's a writer and pastor's wife, and uh, she offers encouragement daily. So we learned on Monday that to handle storms that happen in life, we need to know that storms will come. We also need to know that we should be prepared as children of God and know where to find refuge and strength. The last thought we ended on was from Psalms 46 and 2. And it says that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And we noted that the thing about the storms of life is that they will come in many shapes, ways, forms, and fashion. But we have a source that's higher than us. When the storms of life come, we have God himself and we have his word. And when we trust in God and trust in his word, then we can get through the storms of life. One more thing that we need to be aware of when the storms come, knowing that they will come, be prepared, and knowing that we can find refuge in God is that the enemy comes in like a flood. Isaiah 59 and 19 says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standing against him. The enemy will, will try to wreak havoc in our lives, saints. He loves disaster. He loves it when we struggle. His whole aim is to steal, kill, and destroy. And sometimes it seems like that when a few hard things happen in life, especially when, when they happen back to back and chaos breaks through, this happens and that happens, it's hard for us to get control. <laughs> We're gonna feel abandoned. We're gonna feel, feel like God has left us alone, but God, His word reminds us, we never, ever, ever fight alone. It says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, capital S, capital L, not our spirit, not our strength, but his strength will lift up a standard against it. And again, where do we find that strength? We can't find it in ourselves. We lean to the Holy Spirit and we lean to the word of God. God himself reminds us that he will fight for us no matter what we face. And then if the enemy comes in like a flood, we have to be reminded that God is over the flood. Psalms 29, 10 through 11 says, the Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. This is a great reminder for me, y'all, that God is still all powerful. Over floods, the weather, he's not up in heaven, just pacing around. This word says he's enthroned even over the flood, the floods of our life. He's still in control and he knows our way. He understands what concerns us. In our flood, our flood of life may not be literal standing water. It may be, bless the people in, in Florida who are dealing with that. We may find ourselves uh, in a storm of thoughts. We may feel like we're overwhelmed. We may find ourselves like we feel like we're drowning in the struggles we're up against and they're too much to bear. We may be knee deep in hurt, wading through the waters of the mess of it all. But since we have to not doubt for a minute that God is there. He's over every trouble we face. He's with us in every trial. We don't have to face it alone. He's over the floods of life. And then the psalmist said, may he give strength to his people. And he blesses us. The prime result is peace. And finally, y'all, we have to be reminded that as we go through the floods of life, that after the floods, life does come back. In Genesis 9 and 13, after the greatest flood, the greatest storm of all that covered all of the earth, we believe, God gave, 
gave those remnants. He gave Noah and his children a great promise. He said, I have sent my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be a sign of covenant between me and the earth. <coughs> Even in the face of huge loss, of ravaging storms and literal storms, and then other types of storms, sometimes it's hard to know what the next step will be. And we have to remember that God has the final say over our lives. As believers, we have to trust that we're kept safe in the hands of our Creator. In this life and in the next life, God is redeemed. He's the only one who can take utter destruction and turn it around for our good. Winds will blow, storms will come. He, he, he did it for Noah. He did it for Job. He, he did it for Joseph. He, he did it for other saints in the Bible, and he will do it for us. He's still faithful to his promises and his word. So as we go through the storms of life, lean on his promises, lean on his word, lean on the fact that God is still God. Y'all, that's my time. I just wanted to share a little encouragement with you here on this Friday, some people say Friday, on this Friday, Friday, 10-7-2022, and encourage you to hang in there when the storm of life hit, knowing that God is always near. Y'all, this has been some encouragement from Pastor C. Like, copy, share. We'll also share it on YouTube as well. We'll see you back Sunday morning, Sunday morning, at 8 a.m. for our word and worship. But until then, I wish everyone everywhere a good and godly rest of this Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And just keep believing, keep trusting in God Almighty. He'll be there even in our storms. Amen, amen, and amen.